Welcome back to our channel. Today we bring an updated migration tutorial for our advanced vehicles in Unreal Engine 5. This tutorial is valid for both cars and bikes. So first things first, download any of these projects or both of them. Remember to remove local content if you are just updating the project. Combining them is super easy. Just copy all content from advanced bikes to advanced cars without overwriting anything except for BP Base Bike. Next thing you'll have to do if you want to use our vehicles in your Unreal Engine 5 project is enabling Chaos Vehicles and Metasounds plugins. Now, you just need to import some configurations before migrating our vehicles. So open our advanced pack and navigate to project settings. Export collision. Physics. And in. Now import all settings to your project. If you have your own settings, you'll probably prefer to manually add our advanced vehicles once, instead of importing them. Be careful with collisions. If you have your own settings, you'll have to make some changes after manually adding advanced vehicles channel. Check video description for this specific step. If you see that settings are not being updated, don't worry. That's an old and real bug. Just restart the engine and you will see that everything looks as expected. Once you import it or add it, input, collision and physics settings, you can bring advanced vehicles content to your project. You can either migrate from Unreal or just copy-paste from File Explorer. With that done, you should be able to just drag a car to the scene and drive it. You will see that the car has no friction with the ground. That's because your ground has no physical material. You can use our asphalt physical material or create your own one. You will also see that the driver is not the one that you expected and that it does not perform any enter or exit animation. If you don't need enter and exit animation, you can just change the driver's proxy mesh and retarget the drive animation blueprint. Open BP New Base Vehicle Select Driver Component and move to its assigned animation blueprint. Retarget it to your character's mesh. Organize your new assets. and update both Mesh and Animation Blueprint. If you can see driving animation, just close and open again Base Vehicle Blueprint. If your character is composed by several meshes, like MetaHumans, copy its mesh's component structure and paste them as child components of your driver mesh. Reset all transforms and assign the retargeted animation blueprint to them. Set them as hidden in game and assign no collision. If your car disappears when playing after modifying base vehicle, don't worry, just exit and press play again. 
you will probably want to modify your driver's position, so select driver seat component and modify it at your will. For bikes, the process is exactly the same. Open BP Base Bike. Retarget ABP Third Person Rider. Organize your assets. Assign the retargeted animation blueprint to your rider meshes. And take a ride. This is the basic integration method and will not perform enter exit animations. Bikes will not eject rider on impacts and characters will not take passenger seats. If you want to enable all these features, you need to follow next steps instead of the ones we have seen related to the driver mesh. For this advanced integration method, let's assume that you are working on a regular third-person game based on Unreal Engine template. So browse to Digital Dive Vehicles Advanced Animation Folder, Mannequin UE5, and select ABP Third Person Advanced and ABP Third Person Advanced Rack. Right click on them and retarget to your skeleton. Reorganize your new assets. and browse to our main animation reprint. You will need to move the nodes in these yellow boxes to your character's animation reprint. Let's start from the anim graph. Select, copy. Browse to your animation reprint and paste it in the anim graph before the output node. Now assign ABP Third Person Advanced to the first linked anim graph and ABP Third Person Advanced Ragdoll to the second one. If you compile, you will see that there are missing some variables, so right click on them and create. Repeat the same process on the event graph. Connect set passenger reference to your begin play section and advanced animations to your update sequence. Create variables again and make sure that your animation blueprint receives and propagates notifies from linked anim graphs. Now you need to make your character a child blueprint of ours, so it inherits its interface and default settings. As you can see, MetaHumans already inherit from a basic third person character. So in this case, you need to move to this parent blueprint and make it a child blueprint of BP Drivable Cars third person card. If your character has a begin play sequence, add a call to parent function so it doesn't overwrite its parent one. Well. It's possible that after entering a card, it receives no inputs, so go back to your character and make sure that its inputs are not being consumed. If you are using MetaHumans, you may also find that Ragdoll is not being executed when Rider is ejected from bikes. If that is so, 
make sure that your character's mesh collision has no setting over. We hope you enjoy our assets. Remember to join us on Discord for news, tech support and more.